of the eclipse, people are flocking to the low country hopes of experiencing this rare event. Officials predicting heavy traffic on roadways. That may be an understatement. The airport, just tons of people. News 2 Sophia Arizoza spent the day at Charleston International, met some eager visitors ready for this much anticipated solar event. Stop by the airport. Just the thrill of seeing it. And you're bound to find pretty much crazy adventure. Visitors. Well, we just arrived here from Philadelphia. With their minds on the sky. I think I've heard it's just incredible to see. The total solar eclipse. The difference between partial and total is everything. An experience Paul Faison. I've always wanted to see one. Has been waiting for. A long time. Yes, for a long, long, long time. Since he experienced his first partial eclipse. I've been thinking about this trip for probably five to ten years. Back in 1970. Yeah. <laughs> As for preparation. Oh, yeah, I've read a lot. Let's just say <laughs> Faison has it covered. All kinds of All books. All kinds of books about eclipse, even a novel, a story based around an eclipse. He's just one of an estimated one million travelers flocking to the state. Just the hunt to find this, the place to see it. With a similar idea. We've had this plan for at least a year. Uh, have a group of uh, about 30 people coming down. We got uh, three pontoon boats rented. We're going to tie them up and from the middle of Lake Marion, hopefully see the eclipse. Jim Peacher with the Charleston uh, International Airport tells down. me they're prepared. TSA is ramped up, so they'll have extra people here doing overtime on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Doing what they can to stay ahead of a once in a lifetime solar event. But we could probably see some record crowds out here. If you've looked for a flight in or out of Charleston this weekend, chances are you've had trouble. Almost all are sold out. Airport officials tell me they expect the heaviest foot traffic to come Monday and Tuesday as everyone plans to leave the same day. Some airlines have added additional flights. Others are bringing larger aircraft to serve demand. Reporting in studio, Sophia Arizoza, News 2.